uh, this time I'd like to call to order the uh, presentation ceremony for um, December the 17th. Our first presentation is to um, the award winners from the South Dade Chamber of Commerce. Uh, Rosa, your group want to come up, please? Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mayor and Council. Thank you for uh, inviting us to the Chamber's uh, Council meeting today. Uh, we are here to um, present um, the uh, 2014 recipients of the South Bay Chamber of Commerce Annual uh, Awards, Business Awards. Um, this year, um, we revived a, a, a tradition of the Chamber to recognize those folks in our community that go uh, above and beyond their uh, normal business uh, daily activities. And um, thank you, Mayor Porter, for uh, allowing us this opportunity. And uh, I guess I'll hand it over to you. So. I would just like to also say uh, thank you again, Mayor and, and Council, for recognizing. My name is Renee Reichling. I'm the current chair of the South Bay Chamber of Commerce. This is Rosa Brito, who is the president of the Chamber of Commerce. So just wanted to again thank you for recognizing our award recipients. We have some um, certificates here. And first we have uh, recognition for the Citizen of, of the Year, which was uh, Sharon Haxon. Uh, Sharon is the executive director. Sharon is the executive director of the uh, Chapman Partnership. Uh, Sharon, congratulations and thank you. Um, next, we have Pastor Brock Schiffer. He is the pastor from Speedway um, Community Church. He received the Volunteer of the Year Award. These are these are significant awards because. The, to represent the city and the, and, the, and the chamber and to be recognized, this is uh, quite an accomplishment. You should be proud. Um, the Agricultural Achievement Award was presented to Medora Chrome. Is Medora here? She's not here? And that's an achievement by itself. The Agricultural Committee is huge and, and important to this community. Uh, receiving the Not-for-Profit Organization Award was uh, We Care of South Bay. Is Kamisha here? The um, Large Business of the Year Award was uh, Kai's Real Estate Mortgage and Title. And last but certainly not least, uh, the Small Business of the Year Award was pre presented to Lumo Graphic Center. Um, is Mo here? Okay. Anyway, um, I would just like to say congratulations to all uh, the winners, and um, hopefully you'll be back next year, right? Anyway, congratulations, everyone. Would you like to take a picture together? Ms. Patricia, the Chili Cook-Off Award. Okay. Good evening, everyone. It gives me great pleasure to recognize those schools who took part in our second annual Chili Cook-Off competition. This year, we increased the award to $1,000 for most tastiest. And in addition to increasing the award, we increased the stakes in that these schools had to 
proper and international inspired chili. It was a packed house at Harris Field, standing room only, literally. And we recognized those schools publicly at the event. However, we wanted to bring them to council to recognize them for their efforts and to present them their awards. This year was very interesting. My youth council went high tech this year and allowed the community to weigh in on the Community Choice Award. So they did not have paper ballots this year. Our participants for the Chili Cook-Off came with an appetite and their cell phones in that they voted via text message for the Community Choice Award. And we have flat screens that was showing the results live as they came in. So kudos to the Youth Council for being tech savvy this year. I wish I would have thought of it, but I didn't. The Youth Council thought of it. So with that, I am training them up. So I'm going to share the microphone with the Youth Council so that they may present the awards to those respective schools. Good evening. For the first place and best presentation, we have Sweet Vine Community Center for $250. Um, for most school spirited, the first place went to Somerset Oaks for $250. And for second place, we had a tie with Le Jardin and Miami Community Charter School for $175. Good evening, and I have the honor to announce the most tastiest. In third place, we have Somerset Soho with Um, for second place, we had a tie between First United Methodist Christian School and Homestead Senior High, each for 500. And for first place, we had a tie as well between the Center for International Education, Cambridge, and Charter School at Waterstone for $1,000. I must admit, these schools, they really stepped it up to the plate. We had Jamaican-inspired chili on a bed of coconut rice, Cuban-inspired chili, Puerto Rican-inspired chili. These schools really, really competed at that event. And you see these large trophies because we had to do something grand for the type of presentation that they, they facilitated on December 6th. So thank you so much. But at this time, 
I want to announce the Community Choice Award. Professional chef judges judge this category. We had nothing to do with that. No one had anything to do with this other than those professional chef judges. But for this competition, the Community Choice Award, the participants weighed in on this with their cell phones. So with that, the Community Choice Award for second place went to Miami Community Charter School. And that is another trophy and another check for $250. And first place for a Community Choice Award for $500 additional above and beyond what they earned over there was United First United Methodist Christian School for $500. Now. All of the awards and the funds that these schools will be receiving, compliments of our sponsors. The City of Homestead sponsored the event. However, our sponsors paid for all of this. And tonight, I would like to thank them, those that are in, in attendance and those that are not. Bob Levy and Associates, I don't believe they have a representative here. My Insurance Exchange, if you're here, please come up. Community Bank of Florida, Airboat Everglades, that's our representative here, come on up. Community Bank, oh, Community Bank, thank you, thank you. United Healthcare, come on up. Lennar Holmes, come on up. Ameri Group, come on up. Toyota of Homestead, do we have a representative? Okay, no representative from Toyota of Homestead. Okay, all of these sponsors, they brought forth top tier, the top level sponsorship. We didn't reach out to them. They reached out to us, which is the best way. <laughs> so we thank you so much for your sponsorship and investing in our schools. And we have Miami Community Charter School. They were competing and they also sponsored. So thank you so much for that double dose. <laughs> Do you have any extra hands? <laughs> Thank you for being a full partner in education in Deep South Dade. And we have one more crown jewel in this community. That's Jade Sanders. She is a local artist. She performs at the Chili Cook-Off. She has an EP out on iTunes, I believe. She's just a rock star. So I'm going to take a picture with her because when she becomes a millionaire, I'm going to say, you know what? She was raised right here in Homestead. So thank you so much, Jay, for sharing with us your talent at the Chili Cook-Off. And there's big things in store for you. So let's give a round of applause for our schools and our sponsors. Okay. Now we have to figure out how we're going to take this picture. We can take the schools first and then the sponsors.
the, ne the next presentation is Miss Walden's presentation. She just sent a text that she's stuck in traffic. So we'll give her just a, a couple of minutes to get here. So um, uh, bear with us just one second. Thanks. Next item is um, Homestead Hospital Rate Treatment Center, Councilman Wallman. There he is, right in the front row. Bob, please join me. <laughs> Sorry, I was running a few minutes late. My mom's back in the hospital, and I got caught in that holiday traffic, <laughs> so I apologize. Um, Bob Kremenak, is it Kremenacker? I said it right. <laughs> Bob Kremenacker will be leaving our Sunshine State and heading back to Wisconsin, where he is the superintendent at Apostle Islands National Lakeshore. And I just couldn't let him leave. I couldn't let him leave our beautiful city, without thanking him for everything he has done. Bob is the acting superintendent at um, Everglades National Park. <clears throat> and if I had known you were leaving, <laughs> I would have begged for you to have applied here. You don't want to go back to cold I I Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, I just want to give you a little something. It's not much, but this is a plaque for you to take with you, and it says certificate, certificate of appreciation for your expert leadership to the Everglades and Dry Tortugas National Parks and your partnership and cooperation with the City of Homestead. <laughs> we thank you for your professional and friendly service to our gateway to Everglades and Biscayne National Parks, and you know you are always welcome back. Anytime. Anytime. Let's get out of here. Well, first, would you like to say something? I'd love to. Thank you. <laughs> Judy and City Council and others, this is an unexpected honor. I've only been here four and a half months, and I had no expectation that I would be noticed so much. So I, I came down here for a great professional opportunity, having no idea how much I would fall in love with the Everglades National Park, Dry Tortugas National Park, and this amazing relationship with our Gateway Community Homestead. So I dove in head first, got into much deeper water than I anticipated, and I have a life and a family up north, and so I have obligations to go back to, but I have absolutely loved this, and and uh, better to leave before you're ready than after they all wish you're gone. So no, thank you so much. <laughs> Bob and I share something in common with our mothers, and certainly his support has really meant the world to me. Um, is everybody here? Okay. <laughs> we have a lost nurse, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I'd like to ask our um, Mohair and SOS ladies to come and stand with me. And Homestead Hospital, Corey, I don't know who else here from Homestead Hospital, but... On October 28, 2014, Meher held an annual luncheon and launched the SART. I was honored to be their keynote speaker. SART um, stands for a Sexual Assault Response Team and is a community-based team that coordinates the response to victims of sexual assault. 
This team is, um, may be comprised of sexual assault nurse examiners. There's so many acronyms that I'm, I'm going to try to say all this so that we can all understand it. <clears throat> Hospital personnel, sexual assault victim advocates, law enforcement, prosecutors, judges, and other professionals with the purpose of assisting victims of sexual, sex, sexual assault. Susan, Executive Director of Meher, and Sandy Nanny, Executive Director of SOS, are here tonight. And, and with these two ladies, um, we have worked for two years to create this SART known as SART. Once I called Bill DeCat, the CEO of Homestead Hospital, and thank you, Corey Gold, for being here tonight, and asked him if he would join with me by opening a rape treatment center, um, he just simply said, whatever you need, whatever you need. Since then, Homestead Hospital funded the training for these 18 sane nurses, and you will meet some of them, or maybe just them, because they're all working tonight, um, shortly. <clears throat> Sylvie's lost, but she'll be here soon. Um, the training that these healthcare professionals completed certifies them to perform forensic exams on sexually assaulted victims as well as remain calm and ask the right questions and possibly provide expert testimony in trial cases, which is so important. So important. Our meetings have included Homestead Police, um, State Attorney's Office, anybody you can think of, we've, we've been through it these last two years. Um, and I'm happy to tell you tonight that everyone is on board, and it wasn't easy. I cannot express enough appreciation for the generous and vital contribution this program is to our community in South Dade. Until now, until we've made history, until now, every rape victim had to go to Jackson Memorial Hospital in downtown Miami to the Roxy Bolton Center, which is a wonderful center. But the trauma of having the violation that you're already dealing with and then a six-hour process to get you in the car, get you up there, protect the evidence, just I just can't begin to tell you how, how hard it is for these women. So with that being said, I'd like to recognize these angels of our SART program with a certificate of compassion. And the, the plaque will read, and I'll make sure that every nurse gets one. Every one of our 18 nurses will get one. For your natural desire as a health care professional to further your contribution to treating victims of sexual assault and Homestead Hospital Rape Treatment Center and joining SART. Your certificate as a sexual assault nurse examiner and the compassion and professionalism you deliver will undoubtedly make a difference in victims of this crime in South Dade. Thank you for making that difference. I also have to say that I want to say thank you to Bob Levy, our, our lobbyist here in the city of Homestead. He's also a lobbyist for, um, he is a lobbyist for, for Homestead Hospital. Um, he happened to be at the luncheon where I was the keynote speaker. Um, and immediately, Homestead Hospital and Baptist Health put our, our, our center on their legislative agenda. So we're going to fight for money in Tallahassee. Um, I shared it at the luncheon. I am a victim of, of assault many years ago. And it was very hard for me to tell my story. But, but there she is. But I wanted so badly to, to, to just do something as a legacy. And this is Sylvie. <laughs> and she's so wonderful. Thank you. Sylvie's in charge of our nurses and our training. And, and she's done so many wonderful things. And she's been a support system to all of us. So, Sylvie, you represent all 18 tonight. Would you like to say a word or two? I just uh, wanted to say that Baptist Health is uh, the best, and we will be the best with uh, this endeavor. Um, Mr. Duquette and Mr. Duquette and, and all the administration at uh, Baptist Health has supported us with this uh, project, and I am truly grateful. We are truly grateful to have nurses like Sylvie and our other 17 nurses. They are so committed. They are so 
I just, I just can't tell you. I mean, I mean, it means the world to them to be able to help someone else. And at this time, Corey, I'd like to ask you. He'd like to say a few words. I think you've said it all, Ms. Waldman. I think you did. Um, but we are very proud of our nurses, our staff, and, um, and we're very pleased to help with this program because it's extremely important. So thank you all, and thanks for this acknowledgement. Everybody knows Homestead Hospital is my home away from home, literally, sometimes with all the family. But um, they do so many wonderful things, and I just don't think they get enough recognition. They employ over 1,200 uh, people in, in the hospital, isn't it? Yeah, over 1,200 or over. That's, a, that's, that's big, you know? It's really, really big, and they're always there to help in, in anything we need. This has been a hard two years because we've ha we've shared a lot of happiness, and then we'd share a lot of tears, and then we'd share a lot of screaming, why, why, why? And finally, with Bill's help and, and all of our, our girls and our nurses, we were able to put it together. Susan, Sandy? Hi, good evening. I just wanted to say thank you to the councilwoman and, of course, to, to Homestead Hospital for stepping up to the plate and being uh, such active members in making the sexual assault response team a reality in South Aid. It's never happened before. This is the first time. This is just the beginning. There is still a process that we have to go through, and eventually Homestead Hospital will be a forensic center once they get all of the training that they need in place. So thank you, Councilwoman. I think that with you backing us up, uh, we are going to see more and more people come forward in our community. Sexual assault is a crime. Um, not just a, <clears throat> it's not just a crime, but it is a crime that affects every single one of us in this room. So it's not just the victim that gets raped, but it's the employer, it's the family, it's the children, it's everybody around. So thank you so much, and we hope to be back to, to uh, teach you a little bit more about the services that are available for victims of crime here in South Aid. I also want to say that um, it's not just from Homestead, it's from South Miami down that we are servicing so that you know that um, it's, it's, it's for everybody. And God forbid, Sandy, well, first of all, Sandy said she's, she's done, she doesn't have anything else to say, but I love my Sandy, my SOS girls. Um, but it's just so important to know that you have this team. And I pray to God, it never happens to you. Because it, it, it can happen to your wife, your sister, your brother, your husband, your, 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 your co-worker. It could happen to anybody. But now you know that we're all here for you, and we hope that uh, you're, it's appreciated. I'd like to get a picture, because this is going to be a very important picture. Sylvie, can I ask you uh, for somebody to help Sylvie put all these plaques in, their car, in her car for the nurses <laughs> or Corey? Okay, just so you can have them there. Okay, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Okay, at this time we'll adjourn the special uh, presentation ceremony and reconvene here at about 6 o'clock for the uh, council meeting. So give us a few minutes to get set up. We'll be right back.